All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the DJI Mavic Mini and see if this is the drone for you. Hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So you're maybe you're in the market to get a drone for the very first time, or maybe you're just looking to update your drone, or maybe you're just interested in this new drone that's out on the market by DJI. So if you're like me, possibly you're new in the drone market. I don't know a whole lot about drones, but I've been studying and researching them because I want to buy one. And so I'm thinking about getting this new DJI Mavic Mini. Now I had been eyeballing the Spark, the uh, smaller version of their drone uh, that they released uh, three, four years ago. Uh, now they have updated it. Instead of making like the Spark 2, I believe this is their version of the Spark 2 and they're calling it the Mavic Mini to go along with their Mavic line of drones. Now DJI's line of drones have gotten smaller and smaller through the years but nothing matches their latest drone that they're releasing right now. This new drone comes weighing in at 250 grams. Now, the good thing about this is that it means it's going to be so lightweight that you're not going to need to register it and get a license for this drone because sometimes you have to, when you buy these bigger uh, professional sized drones, you got to get a license for them in order to fly them. But this one here weighs in at a, a weight that's just under that. So now you can just take it anywhere, well, I wouldn't say anywhere, but pretty much uh, anywhere that you are doing any type of drone photography. Now, even though it is one of the more smaller ones, it still has one of those three axis gimbal cameras on it that'll get you some nice buttery smooth footage if you're um, up way high and you want to take uh, some shots of some landscaping or some city life or something. It's going to give you that nice smooth looking cinematic footage. Or maybe you're into the photography side of drone photography. Uh, this particular camera clocks in at 12 megapixels on their picture display. But I think most people that I know of or myself, they're going to use it for more video than they will photography. Now, one of the questions that I always have with when it comes to these drones is how long can we fly these things for before we end up having to stick another battery in there? But DJI says that this particular drone lasts 30 minutes in the air. And I'm sure that varies on wind and what, you know, how far you're taking the drone, but they're saying that the battery life lasts 30 minutes. Now, one of the other big questions is the cost. What's this new drone gonna cost? And this one's coming in at $399 if you just get the single package. Now they have another more expensive package called the Fly More package. And that'll get you the guards that go around the blades on the uh, drone. That way you can uh, protect those blades so in case you're banging into a wall, it'll keep them safe. Uh, it also gets you some extra batteries. So the Fly More package comes in at $499. One of the other things that DJI is offering with this particular drone is some type of creative package that they haven't offered on any of their other drones. So you can get this package that gives you these stickers and some markers so you can put it on top of your drone and you can decorate it, customize it to make it more of like your style, more of your liking. I even seen a picture of Peter McKinnon who just reviewed this drone and he had it in between a sandwich bun. So when a, a drone is so when a drone is this small, I'm kind of concerned on how well it's gonna hold up while it's flying through the air, maybe on a windy day. So I guess if you are going to get this drone and you are going to fly it in a windy day, make sure you fly it where there's an open field in case the wind just takes your drone. That would be a lot of money down the drain if you did lose it. I wonder if some of you guys who are drone users, do you guys get insurance on your drones? Because I think that's something that I would probably look at. I know that DJI offers their own type of insurance policy, but I wonder if maybe some of these local companies that uh, insure your car maybe they have a drone insurance I don't know something to check into if you know comment down below I also saw a picture where somebody held the drone up next to their iPhone 11 Max and how comparable they were in size by holding those two up together like that so I've been wanting to get a drone for a little while and I've been holding off and waiting but I think now DJI has released a drone that's uh, pretty appealing and pretty attractive for me to buy 
I think this is the one I'm going to get. So if you're looking to get this drone, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to buy this one. I think this is a pretty cool looking drone. I think it's right at the right time, right price for uh, many consumers um, that are looking to make that jump into uh, videography with drones. I think this is the right time to do it. What I plan on doing with the drone is just to get some really good B-roll footage that I can add to my videos or maybe even get some client work uh, and offer that particular service, drone photography, drone videography, along with the video that I make for them or for myself. Well, hopefully you guys like this video. Maybe you learned a couple new things about this new drone from DJI. If you did, maybe throw a thumbs up on there and maybe subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you back on the next one. Until then, be creative. This new drone that's out on the market by DJI. Funny thing is, I always say either DJI or DGI. I always get those confused, so I have to always think before I talk. Um, how many people are in? But yeah.